now it is time for me. It's my pleasure to bring on somebody that I've known what we've known for quite a while. Yeah, me like a couple decades almost. Almost, yeah. And somebody who has done very well for himself. C. Robert Cargill Esquire the, the third. third. Please, everybody get my hand. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey man, it's been a while, brother. Uh, it's been a long, long while. Yeah. You have a film career now. I you, do. You are working. You are a writer in Hollywood, but I don't know if I'm sure you're going to be moving on to some other things that you can't talk about. I made a little film uh, a couple years back called Sinister, which did very well. We made a $3 million movie that grossed like nearly $90 million worldwide. Now I want to shift gears here just a little bit and talk about your film, Sinister 2. To hear those kind of reviews come in, what's it like, man? It's very weird. Um, there are sections of the film that are word for word straight out of the script. Mm -hmm. And then there's whole sections that that um, were rewritten, reshot later. Um, I feel like it, it kind of went the complete opposite the way, uh, way the first one did. That, like I said earlier, it was a little bit more intrigue, more mystery, more fun. It, even though there is some kind of there's supernatural stuff going on, it kind of felt more believable. This one, it felt like everything was a little bit disjoint. It was no, everything was disjointed, not a little bit. Like I told you, <laughs> with this, uh, I have no problem. Um, with this. I, I think the movie's better than sex. I disagree. <laughs> uh, Danielle, the first I walk in here, she had me paranoid for like a week because I walk in, and first thing she says, not hi. She's like, "Why did I have a dream that Casey was pregnant?" Oh, right yeah. shit, show. yo, girl. Right before this show last week. So then the whole show, I was like, oh, you know, all the questions were like baby related answers. And so I was like, gone, baby. Gone, girl. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> and that night, I had two dreams that she was pregnant. Like, I was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Are you shaking this shit? Yeah, I was like, you don't say that shit to a yeah. dude. Even if you dream it, even if, the, even if it's, even if the girl is pregnant. Guys, you know, let guys just know what it's like at the yeah. last minute right. when they have to know. Let her tell them. Yeah. <laughs> like if when, you, when the baby's coming out. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Like, we like, you know, eight months in, be like, yeah, she's gaining weight, but I don't know what's up. Like, have a pregnancy test before you say anything yeah, to the guy. Yeah, don't even let us Don't know even, that yeah, shit. don't say that shit. Well, yeah, man, I've been through, through way See, too many of See, y'all do it. Yeah, you do that shit on purpose. Do this shit, yeah, like, we're in this together. No, we're not. No. That's all you <laughs> know how much I contributed right. to this shit. <laughs> not very much. Like, <laughs> and the dead beat dad award goes to. Yeah, there we Ray, go. Ray, 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 wow. I'm just saying in the So, long. Casey, you might not want to get pregnant by this dude. He already saying he's out. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Japan. Japan, at this point, you were either trolling America or you have a shit fetish. They, got, they had a park there. Might still have it. Kids are being brought by their parents to walk into the, a giant anus. As Tommy said, just pretty much be a suppository with legs. Yeah. <laughs> walk in there and discover <laughs> the joys of the colon. They got this exhibit now. and They call it an exhibit. Where they had they they they, they, they dress kids up like little turds and flush them down a toilet. What? <laughs> wow. You know we can laugh at them, but we're from the puritanical society. That's all like, I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Don't talk about See, that's that. That's what I said. But it's a natural, yeah. you know, process of the yeah. body. Everybody, Everybody poops. poops. Yeah, they're, that's they're, it. They're, 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 <laughs> last week y'all jumped on me when we were talking about the big puppet body. I that said, shit was sick. No, no that, that was that, not, was, that was fucked up. <laughs> okay. This is like Watch if it. Nick Jr. wanted to teach kids about pooping, and the other shit was like an HBO trying to teach kids <laughs> about pooping. Like Game of Thrones. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he really no. tried to get us to shit on. On that other one. Yeah. Don't put it again. But yeah, he really tried to get us to jump on that shit. Everyone's made a pun with this. We have. Martin's I, affected us I love all. He really <laughs> affected you all. Yeah. You are thoroughly butthurt. <laughs> he is. <laughs> pun intended, right? <laughs>